Hey, Gleason, back in Tulsa. <laughs> so? Before he went into the seminary. Fletcher, I'm sure lots of cardinals knew thousands of people before they went into the seminary. Oh, come on, Mae, don't you see what this means? No, not really, do you? Cardinal Malone, one of the highest ranking church officials in America, used to be very friendly with a woman who used to run an old fashioned bordello back in Tulsa. How friendly? I don't know. Friendly, that's all the guy told me. Oh, who's your source on this, Fletcher? Oh, come on, come on. Look, look, doesn't matter. Sally Gleason had lots of friends. Her life wasn't exactly a secret. Yes, but what do you know? Well, not much yet. I mean, but I have a feeling this is the angle that we've been looking for. No, nope. forget about it. Forget what? You're not going to print the story. Why not? <laughs> because it's my newspaper and I say you're not. trying to call you on the phone since yesterday, but the... Well, I wonder. Uh, so you took down your Christmas tree decorations already? I never put them up. Why not? Roxy, honey, please, I just want to be alone, all right? Why, Reva? What is the matter? What is it? It's Kyle, isn't it? I let him go, Roxy. I just let him go. Hey, Merry Christmas, brother. We missed you yesterday. Oh, I missed you too, Billy. Oh, Come boy. on in. Hey, matter of fact, we missed you even more on Christmas Eve. We had too much eggnog for sane people to drink. Is that a fact? Yeah. Oh, watch this. You gonna walk with your Uncle Kyle? You walk? Okay. Yeah, I tell you, it's nice to be back in the chips again. Look at this. Back in the chips again for Christmas. I want to thank you a lot for giving me back a little while. And uh, little Billy wants to thank you a lot for the presents you sent over. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry I missed it. It's okay, we understood. You did? Yeah. Little Billy said, <clears throat> I know those married folks, newlyweds, got better things to do than come over and eat mint pie on their honeymoon. Well, uh, Reva and I didn't get married. You, you think? Hey, I thought you chomped it a bit to come down the aisle. When are you going to do it? Uh, well, I'm getting married today. Okay, congratulations again. I bet you old Reva's tickled pink, huh? No, I don't think she is. I'm, I see I'm not marrying Reva. Hey, what? I'm marrying Maeve Stoddard. You're, you're marrying Maeve Stoddard? Why? Well, for one thing, she's having my baby. And of course, it's uh, it's funny, but it was Reba who made me realize that my place was with Maeve and with the baby. No matter how much, no matter how much Reba and I. Uh, Ma Maeve's having you, but you you marry Maeve, but you still love Reba. Of course, I still love Reba. I love Reba in a million dreams that'll never happen. Well, that's just hold on a second. Well, why can't they have it, Billy? I, of all people, know the answer to that. See, I know what it's like growing up without a father. Coming home from school and not having anybody there, not having anybody to take me places on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, I guess you do. Yeah. I think that's a terrible thing to happen to somebody, and I'd never see it happen to anybody, let alone a child of my own. But, uh, couldn't you and me uh, work something out? We have worked something out. We're going to get married. No, I meant some kind of custody thing here right now, but Billy, my first responsibility is to the baby, and it always will be. Even at the expense of your own happiness? Bill, you've got little Billy here. How much does he mean to you? <sighs> everything. That's right. And I'm going to do everything that I can to make sure that, that my child has something that I never did, that he has a father. Mm -hmm. Well, well, I say, an HB is back in your life. I mean, I haven't told you. You told me what? HB is not my father. What? We're not brothers, Billy. We never were. 
Reva, why? You and Kyle are crazy about each other. We don't belong together. I should have known it from the start. I could have stopped it then before I fell in love with him. Well, why should you have to? I'm never going to be able to stop loving him now. Never. Reva, this isn't making any sense. Now, why did you and Kyle break up? Reva! Oh. You're in there, girl! Tell them to go away. Oh, hey, anybody home? What do you want? Well, Merry Christmas. Hey, there. You really had me worried. You know that? I couldn't get hold of you all day yesterday. It'd be in Christmas and everything. Sister? What's wrong, darling? I lost Kyle, Pop. You lost him? Hmm. How'd that happen? I lost him to Maid Stoddard. <laughs> No. Huh? Oh, I don't believe that. That lily-livered highbrow couldn't take a man away from Reba Shane. She's a lot braver than you think. I don't love the woman. Never has. He loves her child. Wait a minute. What child? Maeve Stoddard's having a baby. And Kyle's his father. You want me to drop the story? Are you sure? Maeve's having Kyle's baby? I couldn't be more sure. I heard it straight from the doctor. Well, baby or no baby, Kyle belongs with you. Any baby of Kyle's is going to have his father. Kyle and I both agreed that that's what comes first. Damn the man. You just leave him alone, Pop. You don't deserve this. You're the one who ought to be with Kyle. This is all my fault. No, it's not your fault. It just happened. Well, it never would have happened if I hadn't been doing Sally Gleason's dirty work for her. What dirty work? I don't know. Talking Kyle down to you, I'm, I'm so mad, I don't know what I'm saying. What kind of dirty work were you doing for Sally, Pop? Please, sister, just forget I said that. No, look at me. I can't stand any more secrets. And I don't want to live with any more lies. Now, if you love me, you'll tell me what it is you're keeping from me. I can't. Sister, I just... You're my own father, for God's sake! If I can't trust you... You just tell me. You might as well know now. Sally Gleason paid me to come to Springfield. Paid you? Why? She hired me to break up Kyle and Reva. Break them up? Forgive me, sister. I used Maeve Stoddard to try to get the job done. God forgive me, it worked. Dad, yeah. it's not your daddy. Well, who told you that? Reva. Why the hell did Reva tell you that? <laughs> because it's the truth. H.B. and Sally confirmed it. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me H.B. lied? That's right, he lied to you. He lied to me. He lied to the whole family. Well, why did H.B. and Sally lie? Oh, they had their reasons. Oh, yeah, well, you mean to keep you and Reva apart, son? Oh, that was one. The other, the other reason, I think, was to keep you and I from feuding. Did, did Sally tell you who you, your real daddy was? I'm sorry, Kyle. Damn. I thought you made a great Lewis. The important thing now is... is the future, you see. I'm going to be a father myself. I'm going to... I'm going to make my own family. You think I, that'll uh, make you happy? It'll have to. And I'm going to see to it that my baby has a brother, and maybe he has a sister, too. <laughs> well, that's definitely the way to do it. You know, Billy, it's you who made me realize uh, how important it is having a brother. Oh, you, you rem remember the, uh, the last day of the trial when uh, I was in a trance and you came up to me? Yeah, I'll never forget that. Well, I had a feeling, I mean, I had a feeling down in my gut that I could not shake. You were my brother. 
Yeah, I had... I had the same feeling, Billy. And as far as I'm concerned, you always will be my brother. Same here. I haven't seen Kyle since Christmas. Your daughter? I didn't know Kyle meant so much to her. Oh, you are the lowest, most despicable piece of pond scum I've ever laid eyes on. You're lower than whale spit. Why don't you tell us about it from the beginning? Oh, what's the use? I, I don't want to give you any more pain than I from have already. From the beginning. I, I was in jail for little ruckus I got mixed up in. You, you know how those Tulsa bars get late at night. Not as well as you do. And anyway, I, I didn't have two nickels to rub together and no place to go. You are breaking my heart. Go on. Well, that's when Miss Sally showed up, offering me an airplane ticket and a wad of cash in return for my services. Just what exactly were you supposed to do? Oh, Sally explained to me how Reva was chasing Kyle all over they Springfield. They were chasing each other. Well, I thought she's too good for him anyhow. I did miss your sister, and I was dying to see my little one. It just seemed like a perfect chance to get re reunited with my girl. Seemed like the perfect chance to pick up a few quick bucks and prove that you are the worst father ever put on this earth. Yeah, a little bit of both, I guess. I've changed since I came to Springfield. Honest. We are sick and tired of hearing about your reformation, Mr. Roxy. You never change for the better. You just keep on getting worse and worse. Oh, don't, don't talk like I that. I cannot believe I started to get suckered in by you. Roxy, darling. Yes, I'm not your darling. You're my daughter, honey. I am not your daughter. I am not your honey. Why don't you just get out of Springfield and leave me and Reva alone? Just give me a chance. Just leave us alone. Get out. Roxy, you leave him to me. Reva, I'm not going to leave you with him. Not Go for a on second. now, honey. I can handle it. Reva, he is only going to try and con you again. Will you stop? Oh, Reva, why do we have to get stuck with Hawk Shane for a father? Just, you go on now, honey. You just go on. I can take care of this. That's what you want. I will never forgive you for this, ever. Roxy. I hate you, Hawk Shane. Is this really true? You? So, uh, where's this wedding gonna be? Uh, St. Timothy's at 6.30. <laughs> it doesn't give you much time, does it? No, no, it doesn't, but, uh... Billy, I wanted to come by here to ask you to be my best man, would you? Hey, uh, I'm honored to stand up for you, Kyle Kors. Uh, uh, what about Vanessa? You think she'd want to come? You're welcome, maybe the family. Why not? She'd love it. What about HP? Okay. I'm bringing the whole family. You don't worry about a thing. Thanks, I appreciate it. Hey, no need to thank me. I tell you, way I hear down in the back room, you, you're still considered a Lewis. Really, what am I going to do about Reva? Well, she's, uh, she's made her decision. I... I guess you're gonna have to let her go. All right, maybe I did come here on Sally's payroll, but, but a fella can change. The minute I saw my girls again, I stayed for you, not for her handouts. Besides, she's not paying me anymore. I'm a free agent. That's why you've gotta believe I came here to help you, Reba. I swear I'll, I'll never cross you again. Yeah, I... He warned old Sally. I said, Kyle and Reba might love each other so much we won't be able to pry them apart with a crowbar. After all you've been through, you... you belong together. That's why I can't see you just sitting here letting that... stuttered woman walk away with your man. I'm falling. What's that? I'm falling. And there's no one there to catch me. I'm here, sister. 
I'm divorced from H.B. I can't marry Kyle. Roxy can't run her own life. And you? I'm ready to do anything you say. Even you betrayed me. And now there's no one to catch me. I'll catch you, sister. Hey, come on now. Come on to your old papa. Go away. Now, don't go talking like that. Go away. That's where you belong. Away. force my company on you while you got things on your mind. I'll be leaving you now. But I will be back. And I will help you get Kyle back, too. You see if I don't. Is Kyle there? Do you know where he's getting married? I see. Oh, no, no. No, I, um, no message. Thank you, Alfredo. Goodbye.